<lacht> ja. Cantalini, Cantalini. Cantalini, sag mal dich. <lacht> sag mal dich. Komm, gay. Komm, gay. Hey. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Come Town. Welcome to Come Town. Is your mic on? Is your mic on? My mic is on. No, Adam, no. Adam took the first mic for himself. Well, it's the closest to where I'm sitting. Oh. Wow. It's the closest to where he's sitting. Wow. Well, I just wanted to set it up so the, oh, okay. Okay. So the cords had as much <laughs> yeah, slack. You, as you can see, look at this. This is, certainly looks like it worked out where the cords are definitely not tangled. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. This is not going to be a good episode because Adam said he had a surprise for yeah, us. Yeah, he was going to go get And lunch. we thought it was going to be lunch. Well, I said it was a treat. Well, yeah. How about no more I surprises? Said, and I you said, because Stav, are you eating treats these days? And you, you just said you could well, have a treat. Now Stav has diabetes. <clears throat> the thing is, why did you feel the need to get it originally? Explain to everyone. Because I had it the other day. I said the boys. No, no, I, no. I thought no, to myself no. that the boys would like these donuts. No, no, no. I did. No, don't Straight change up. your tune. What tune? What's the reason you decided we should get a treat today? Mm -hmm. What are you atoning for? I'm not. I'm not atoning for anything. Okay, you understand people are going to hear what, the, what the, Adam's, the premium what Adam's tune on Sunday. Is, yeah. Adam's tune is a uh, little, uh, the cartoon of um, not the, you know, when they go to the lobby in the movie theater, mm -hmm. but imagine it's like, it's a bank and then there's like, uh, it's mm -hmm. like a cartoon like nickels and stuff like that. Yeah. That's his tune. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> like, um, you know, if you got, uh, like, yeah, you know, you go to the movie theater and they play that thing. Like, imagine if you go to the bank and before you can, you know, you're waiting in line, they play wow. a little video. That'd be yeah. cool. And it's all the money. And it's and like, that would going, be Adam's tune. That's Adam's tune. Like a roller coaster Adam, going through a bank. Shut up. Why? You already apologized. So do it on the on the main episode at the beginning now before everyone for can what? hear you. Apologize to the listeners. Listen, we. For what? You know what? Apologize for what? Oh, for yeah. Well, I come on. Can we can we not settle these things? I'm trying like to settle gentlemen? it. See, here's the thing. I'm trying to settle it. We got into a big fight, like gentlemen. I want to. But you tried gentleman. to bury it at the end of the premium Sunday. We agreed we were, we're canceling I was just the show to eat today time. so that I could watch a doll go. <laughs> yeah, and I yeah, so we could watch a doll go in your ass. A doll, yeah, a little Chucky doll. <laughs> I would love to watch that. <laughs> That's going into Adam's ass. Adam, the thing is, I yes. want you right now on prime time, okay. beginning of the free episode. Yes, I want you to say why you got us treats. Um, because I thought the boys would like these donuts when I got had these donuts. No, the no, no. No, I legitimately had that thought. Why though? What did you mess up? What have you decide? What have you finally admitted was a mistake, and you feel very bad about talking about the breakfast sandwich. The breakfast sandwich. Yeah, and I feel, you said I felt like I felt like I I I was defiant and I was being a bad friend. <laughs> Thank you, and yeah. I appreciate that. And I don't mean so. I had a one track mind. Now here's the problem. I wasn't thinking about Adam you. comes. To, I'm, we're starving because we don't eat. Starving. We, we just we fucking don't. I don't eat for days before the show because I like the the first one. Keep hung, you primal carbo hunger. Carbo load. I like to I like to be fresh. You know, the, you get kind of in this. My senses are yeah sharp. But then for the afternoon, the regular episode, it's Adam's job to go get lunch. Mm. No, and, it's not. You're and you're, it's Adam's job to go get lunch. You're telling <laughs> lies. And yeah. it's Adam's job to go get lunch. <laughs> and then I he comes back and he's got a box of donuts. Right. And I said I'm not eating that. I got to go get a fucking sandwich. Right. Uh -huh. And then I, you know, it's like okay, well everyone's eating the donuts um, and they're pretty good. I don't I'm not like, gonna say that they're great donuts. And I appreciate the thought and the gesture of atonement yet again. And they are very. Too, he's not thinking about the reason you go get lunch is so we have the fuel. Fuel for the second episode. I do. I imagine. Don't. Imagine you're the dietitian. And I for, will say, I don't view friendship as a balance sheet. I wasn't doing that because I had a negative two weeks ago. I did it because I had the donuts. You a first of days all, ago, and I said the boys would like these you donuts. do. Imagine. No, I don't. You're the. You have you're a ledger. No, I don't. You're the team nutritionist. I, I definitely don't for the <laughs> for the Denver Broncos. Yeah. And it's the night before the Super Bowl. Right. Mm -hmm. And you go and you're like, well, we got to fuel up. I'm going to go get a bunch of donuts. Yeah. Mm. No. Because now we're going to be crashing from sugar. Right. 
John Elway's gay now. He's gay. He's a fat. He's got sugar in his From blood. Sweet. He's a white black he too, say that. He's got too much donuts. He's and got now a little he's, sugar in his blood. Now he's mm-hmm. sucking cock. <laughs> he's sucking Terrell Davis's <laughs> cock. <laughs> Giving him a migraine, it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what you did to me. I'm I'm okay. I just I thought not you guys. And by the way, Adam, here's the not thing. Not the gay yeah. stuff. I'm just sleepy. <laughs> no, you did, you did do the gay stuff. No, I'm just sleepy. You did suck no. his cock and you I loved didn't. it. Nick was smiling the whole time. I'm yeah, smiling true. because <laughs> I'm thinking of how funny no. it would be if I did something like that. You, you know, you because were smiling because so it felt good to that get That is what it's yeah. I was do. doing so random comedy. <laughs> yeah. and that's why I said it would be random. Yeah, it's not gay if you're getting sucked off with an Invader Zim hoodie on because you're just being random. That's true. <clears throat> the point is, here's the thing, Adam. Okay. People will listen to the episode. Yeah. Where you basically said this: these treats were a quid pro quo for the sandwich. I was reminded mm-hmm. of a yid, the treats a yid while pro we, quo. So don't. Very funny. That's good. Very don't funny. come up here pretending like it wasn't for that, which is fine. I think that's a nice gesture. You make a mistake, you come through, you bring, you fucking, you have a little dick, you give your girlfriend flowers. Which is something, you know, that kind yeah, of thing. Constantly. The flower <laughs> budget. Guys, yeah, the flower yeah. budget. But Flower, I will... Flowers for Algernon. Yep. Yeah. That's about a guy who's got a small dick. He's got to get his retard girlfriend flowers. And constantly. Because she's used to retarded guys. Yeah. With humongous retard you think uh, You think a guy that <laughs> somebody uh, people may know who fucks retard? Oh, no, 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 no. You think he's ever like, no. so you've been with a lot of retarded guys. <laughs> I don't I think you're she's used like, to... yeah, but I like your personality. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. I don't. Yeah, know. I know it is you fucking cocksucker. <laughs> Coming well, in, what are you fucking Chinese? Chinese. <laughs> what are you yeah. fucking Chinese? Oh, you're gonna, now you're gonna preempt the what are you Chinese? Yeah, you're gonna course. try and beat you me. Wanna to be politics. Politics. You, you wanna, wanna be the one? You wanna be the one to same. be on the it's record? Politics. To have been the first one to say what are you Chinese? You wanna, in my the mind, the thing that you were not involved with at all, in the slightest. In my mind, that <laughs> was a two way street over yeah. here. In my mind, and then we said, let's do that the whole episode. Yeah, and then you. You are coming in with YouTube <laughs> first in the comments. You did do that. Yeah. Okay, but let me say this, Adam. I appreciate the gesture. The donuts were delicious. However, given that it is lunchtime, uh-huh. and given that you're making up for missing a meal... You could at least got a bunch of chicken nuggets from McDonald's. I think both me and Nick were expecting lunch. I said I wasn't going to get sandwiches. I was going to get treats. You and never asked, said. Yes, said, I did. I said, are you eating treats I thought that. Days? You know what? I was thinking, honestly, I think, and I think I yes. speak for everybody here. Yeah. You're talking about cornbread as part of a larger barbecue order. There's treats that, go, that were going to be involved. See, we I thought it lunch. wasn't going to be a breakfast sandwich. I thought we were looking at you. Can I tell you what I actually, in the back of my head, was kind of thinking? Yeah. You remember how he was mentioning... Really good breakfast burritos. Yeah, yeah. Part of me was thinking, well, this is the time. I Adam told you that place is, is closed on Monday. I didn't know. What do I to keep track of everything you've ever Nobody told me? Nobody listens to you. What are you talking about? Nobody listens to you. What about <laughs> what about the fourth man, the audience? I know? think I think the, the fourth the fourth member of of our co- mm-hmm. uh, cohort or mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. They they I, hang on every. I'm word just saying. That we I say. don't think it would have been out of bounds for you to come back here with a bag of chicken tenders. Okay. Well, next week, man. And then you said, do you want an iced tea or a coffee or something? If I had known we're getting donuts, I would have said coffee. Classic combination. Well, I said... I think I have... I, I said think, it was, I'm thinking I need something to wash down my lunch with, so I say Do you want to come with me in the car but while you I go said get your surprise. surprise? So there would... So if it was a surprise, I couldn't say that it was donuts. That's I wanted true. I wanted to thrill you. You know what's I wanted be great to when we find you. out it was free donut day. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't free donut day. And don't call Or them. that it was or that it was like a chicken they had like fried chicken there. Do they have do they have anything savory there? No, they just have drinks and donuts. What's the place called? <laughs> don't come on. What's dude. the place called? Adam, get the little wire so we the Adam telling on wire no, so we can, don't call another. What is the honest place called? Business. Can tell me. Actually, I think I remember. Yeah, I told you. That. Um, get the wire out so you can plug the phone in. Where's the wire? Now. I think Do I took it, it out. I think I Do took it, it out now. already. I think I took it out already. He says, as she pulls it out. Here you are. And plug it in. No. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be spoken to that way anymore. Plug it in yourself. No, I won't be spoken to and that then way anymore. Suck my dick. <laughs> no, that's oh, sexual Adam's harassment in now. 
That's sexual oh, harassment. my dick is being sucked. No, it's mm, not. Yes, dude, it that's is. That's a good speaking job. Clearly, I'm speaking clearly. Uh, I'm speaking clearly. There's no penis in my mouth. Because Nick's dick is so small. Because my dick is... Oh, wait. <laughs> 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 all right. All right. I'll give them this. They don't have, they don't have anything. No, no, they don't. we got to call them up. <laughs> no, no, they don't. Don't call no, them right, up. then I'll call them. I'll call them up. <laughs> give me a... But we can't... We can... Mm-hmm. Uh, the fuck is my phone? Oh my god! Did I? Lo- I'm gonna do the thing women do. Well, my phone's gone. I lost it. I lost it. It's lost. Oh I must have left god. it at the at the girls' night. Guys do that too. It's oh my phone is gone and my debit card's gone too, and it's all. Yeah, I will say you were really you were pretty close to a KFC. Yeah. Well, what I was there. I was gonna just Google a chicken place and call them up and ask if they had boneless wings. <laughs> also, well. something called. Well, look, it's okay. I appreciate the donuts, but just want to let the just want to let everyone know if we run out of steam, it's because we crashed. I did too much sugar. We sugar crashed. Yeah, it's really stupid. Really, really poorly thought out by you. <laughs> okay, inconsiderate. <laughs> Didn't even a piece get. of chicken would have been nice. A piece of fried chicken would have been nice. I had to eat, yeah, a, I had to eat a bunch of rotisserie chicken before this started. So go have some of Nick's rotisserie chicken. I don't chicken. want his rotisserie it's chicken. It's fucking three-day-old rotisserie chicken. It's oh, disgusting. It's disgusting, Nick. I, what part of I had to, didn't you, you understand? Forced, you painted him into a corner. I'm sorry, dude. And now you're calling me disgusting in my own. We home. were here kind of waiting for lunch, you know. Yeah, being like, oh, I'm I was interested. thinking, at, I was, I, you know, and I had pretty low expectations. I was like, he's going to Blimpy. I they don't even have blimpies. That would have been good. I would have. I, I would have enjoyed blimpies. They don't have found blimpy a way, subs. And I said, "He's going to find a way to go to the even more pedophile sandwich restaurant." <laughs> Is blimpy pedophile? It's oh, more yeah. than Subway. Yeah, they got into a big lawsuit over that when they found out Subway Jared was raping children. They were like, "That's." Copyright infringement. <laughs> oh, because that's our thing. <laughs> that's sort of the blimpy way is going up into the clouds and fucking. Kids. Remember the Quiznos wow. when they set the world on fire with those little not Quiznos stops. Yeah, People the thought Quiznos was really going to take over. They had a minute though. That yeah. off the strength of that ad alone. <laughs> yeah. People thought I had a roommate in college who said he wanted to drop out of college and start a Quiznos franchise because Quiznos was the future. I ate a Quiznos a couple times and I was like, it's yeah, good. It's, yeah. No, it's the, the, the. Let me tell you this. They heat the sandwich. Let up. me tell you this. Yes. So does so does something that weird little half microwave half that oven thing's thing. weird. I'm going to tell you something. Yeah, please do. Yeah. The chicken carbonara sandwich there. It's very. They good. got a chicken carbonara it's sandwich. It's very good. Ooh, it's I've very. It. It's very good. And you eat it, and you're like, "What the hell is? What do you got back there? What the fuck is back it's there? It's creamy. It's bacon. Who's it's making? Very good. Who's making these sandwiches back there? What do you got? What back you got there? some kind of fucking Chinese mm. guy back there? I was just trying to bait Adam and then uh, into doing it first, trying sorry. to let him once again. You'll I was just trying to have me. fun with it. Was well, some guys. kind of fucking Chinese guy back there? Yeah, you got a fucking Chinese guy. <laughs> 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 what the hell is it? What is this? Some kind of Chinese it's delicacy. Some Chinese thing you got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. Mm-hmm. Well, where's the Quiznos around here? Is it open? They don't have any. Or is Quiznos done? I feel like it's regional. I feel like there used to be a Quiznos on every corner. Mm-hmm. There was one in Canton. They really peaked. Yeah, I used to go to the one next to... Uh, we call the club H E B, but the H E B uh right off like thirty five at like just north of Hyde Park. Or I guess in Hyde Park. Dude, this is there's nothing but Quiznos there fucking gravy. There was a Quiznos over there. There was mm-hmm. a uh uh free bird burrito. Nice. It's Never crossing the the Goodyear auto place and then uh Google yeah, shows you all the permanently closed Quiznos. H E B. They had a big, a ton in New York. A big liquor store. Folks, let me tell you something. They had a <laughs> Sears. <laughs> wow. A Jack in the Box, and one of those. I, I think it was. It wasn't called Wo Hop. It was one of those. In in the South, they have like chain. It's not just Panda Express. They got. They like, have other chain Chinese. Yeah, they got like Ching Chong's like uh, Asian. Karate bowl yeah, new, or whatever. Like, they uh-huh. have like Panda Golden Dragon. Yeah, they have like the Panera tier of Chinese bullshit. But it's regional. Yeah, it's like Wei, Wei Ding, Wei Ping. You know, it'll be like a chain of like places where you like just point at the meat and then some, some like. Oh, I hate that kind of shit. Yeah. I don't like that level of stuff. I want the bulletproof shit. Yeah. 
I like Panda <coughs> Express. I think it's okay. So good. the closest quiz notes to us Long is Island, Woodrow Wilson Travel Plaza, oh. in Trenton, New Jersey. That's far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they said get them out of the city. They don't want to. Yeah, they I think they out. did. There's Andrew also one Cuomo. at Stewart International Airport. He said it's not Italian food. Crossroads Italian pizza should only be on the turnpike. There's one at University of Delaware. That's where I got my penis removed. <laughs> I think that I think the new female governor is him. With her cock chopped wow. off in a dress. I don't believe that that's not Andrew Cuomo. She talk like that too. Yeah, look at watch a video and tell me that's not just I've never Cuomo. Heard, I've never heard Hokel talk. There's there's one in you Baltimore it's, Travel Plaza. It's me, a different bitch. I'm a bitch now. I'm a bitch. Oh, there's one in Towson, Maryland. Damn. Wow, okay. Road at trip. Rock Raven. Yeah, I mean, of course. There, why wouldn't there? Like, if, if there's a Quiznos anywhere, <laughs> it's in Towson. Towson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they got one in BWI. Quiznos seems to really be holding down the airport market. Mm-hmm. Airports Good for and Maryland. travel plazas. Yeah. That's what that's what Brookstone is now. It's just a place to. It's like an airport thing. <gasps> to buy a fucking massager at the airport. Dude, Bro- Brookstone really was the future. Dude, they were the pinnacle, dude. Mm-hmm. I felt like George Jetson going in there. Yeah, when I would go in there and I'd be like, dude, someday I'm going to have a fucking hammock mm-hmm. and, a, and yeah. a grill that's also a clock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, and I'm a gonna, fucking robot. I want to be happy, dude. I'm going to be a businessman. Oh, yeah. I used to get kicked out of the massage chairs with my friend. Because you were coming in your pants? No, <laughs> because they said we were, we were kids and we weren't going to buy the massage chair. And I said, I'm a, I own a potential like, customer. I'm Jewish. My family is Jewish. And you literally lost, was you the lost another potential customer. customer. Yeah. yeah. Maybe when I'm older, maybe when I'm older, I'll be a successful businessman and I'll buy this massage my chair. My family owns the synagogue and we have lots and lots of money. <laughs> that's and we're not true. Buy, you know that's not true. We're going to buy the chair. How much money do you make owning a synagogue? I don't oh, know if lot. you can <laughs> own it. Highly lucrative. <laughs> I don't know if you can own it. It's probably a fucking cash cow. Mm-hmm. Probably. I mean, it's a religious organization, so they don't pay tax. Exactly. Big. I was thinking about how you can charge for Hebrew. I was thinking school. about having a, a bar yeah. mitzvah for myself this year up at Bear Mountain. That's awesome. Just get the re- rent out the reception hall, and then you know, but like do the tour portion and everything. And the theme of my bar mitzvah is going to be the entertainment industry. <laughs> That's cool. So I'm going to invite like managers and agents that don't talk to me anymore. Yeah, and they're all going to be there. I'm not going to tell any of them I'm having a bar mitzvah. Right. But then they show up, and I'm doing the reading. I got the rabbi there. Right. And then I just say like, "Oh, you didn't know I was Jewish?" Yeah. yeah in that voice. Oh no! Of course, <laughs> I've been Jewish the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> it's your return to show business. Yeah. yeah. The the- no, it's the theme is entertainment industry. Entertainment. I thought, of course, I had to invite you. <laughs> oh, the things I said they were, you know, I mean, offensive. Yeah, but it's part of you know satire. <laughs> <laughs> That's entertainment, baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Listen, uh. It would be awesome because that would def that would literally help your career. It business. would, yeah, that definitely <laughs> would. It would, yeah. <laughs> if I invited a bunch of managers and agents to Bear Mountain, yeah. Or, first of all, no one would show up. Right, it's too far. It's too far. You got to do something closer. Maybe that. Well, I really wanted to rent out Bear Mountain, get rooms for everybody. Just drop like fifteen thousand dollars. That sounds awesome, dude. Rent out the whole for two days. Would you have a carving station? Yeah, dude, yeah I, would prime go, rib. I would go first of nice. all. I would I would rent the entire lodge for two nights. So yeah. awesome. So that all the rooms, and then yeah, just get everybody from Mosaic in there, <laughs> and, and then uh, yeah, do the I do the thing. And then we have you know we have you know it's just like uh, we got a DJ wearing like a big like a top like a fuzzy top. Yes, hat. yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Glow Playing sticks the ignition for the kids. Remix yep. Yep. Do it like raising the roof. Raising yeah. the roof. <laughs> Motiv- <laughs> motivational <laughs> dancers. Yeah, this yeah. this sort of thing. The rich kids used to get hot chicks to like dance for the ki- like they would motivate the dancers. Kids. They get like do you like think anyone ever motivated motivational dancers? Do you think any anyone ever got their son a prostitute for his bar mitzvah? One thousand percent. Yeah, that's awesome. One thousand. That's Adam, Adam's dad's still doing that to this day. What do you mean? Except He's now sucking they're, off now the they're prostitute girlfriends. Oh really? Adam, Adam, the, 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 it's sort Are of you a, serious? Adam has a woman that's paid to pretend to be. Is that real? Him. Yeah. I didn't know your dad had money like that, dude. Yeah, she charges by. Well, the I actually show. pay for it. It's the only way we can get him to do the show. Oh, yeah. I see. <laughs> yeah, Nick's. Per- yeah. He's that's in- what. That's what Adam gets his fucking salary in. His yeah. girlfriend. The thing is, yeah. people don't know this, but there used to be a, the third guy on the show was a black guy. 
Oh, really? And uh, one time I was about to do a joke, and he riffed, and I, it crushed. And I, uh, I, pulled him, I, well, I pulled him aside after the show, and I had to feed him to pigs. <laughs> Woo's pigs. Yeah. I had to feed him to a bunch. Unfortunately, I had to was he alive? feed that. Yeah. I had, to f- I had death by pigs for that, man. Oh, you didn't Because he crushed first? harder than you? No one is allowed. <laughs> <laughs> so then you, saw, then you thought, let's get Adam in the mix. I said, let's get that guy we hang out with. Or I hang out with because he's my neighbor. Mm. And the only reason is because we're neighbors. <laughs> yeah. We're well, don't you story. suck my penis. Mm-hmm. Won't well, I you promise fuck I'll, my pussy? I'll never <laughs> kill. You huh? will, dude. I'll never kill. You will. One day? One day, dude. Yeah. <laughs> One day you'll know what that's like. Well, when Nick's not here, it's... I'm Adam actually did really well on the the premium episode this week. What are you going to say? Go Patreon.com. Oh, thank you. He did. That was a great episode. Yeah, Adam <laughs> told a really funny story. Adam was crushed it th- top to bottom. Really, really good. And then he also used the N word. So if you're one a lot, that, no, I which don't. is going to be edited out in the YouTube version, obviously. So but not yeah, on the pay- yeah on the YouTube Patreon, version that someone steals. If you, you go to Patreon.com/slash Comtown, you can hear the uncensored Adam saying the N word blackmail clip <laughs> that you can then download yourself. Isn't that already out there? And use as Ringtone on your phone. Adams dropped it. Um, also, this no, weekend. No, I had to edit it out. He did, remember when he did it? He no, was like no, doing no, a, no. Oh, doing that, that was that really f- funny. What was that that he was trying to do? No, like I a said, commercial I said for like an Trump. exterminator? <laughs> I said he was that like, Trump was how say. you? He just got so excited to go into a character. It was total, yeah, and it did yeah. not need I mean, the N word at all. Anyway, just um, a hard R. <laughs> this weekend, and then fucking being like, you gotta edit that. <laughs> <laughs> this weekend, I'm uh, in Nashville with Mike Racine, October first and second, mm. uh, and we are at the Third Coast Comedy Club. Love that. Yeah. Next third, week, I, I thought Texas was the Third Coast. Next week, I'm in Cleveland at Hilarities, the 7th through the 9th. Then Phoenix, the 14th through the 16th. Madison, 21st through the 23rd. Then later in December, we got Detroit, Columbus, New Orleans, Tampa, Boston. Go to stavi.biz slash motherfucking tour and come see me live. The show's been a lot of fun. Fantastic. Do we have regular reads also? Eventually, yeah. Uh, what time is it? We've only been doing about... Oh, oh never mind. MyBookie.com <laughs> is a place AG. where a kid can be a kid. <laughs> MyBookie.com is where your kid can get sucked off the by a The thing I love about yeah. MyBookie.com is it's actually MyBookie.ag. <laughs> yeah. AG, of course, standing for some kind of, I think it's a Swiss, a Swiss mm. legal entity. Yep. Which means you can't sue them if they... I mean, not that they would, but they never will. And They're the a event, really trustworthy ass motherfucking in the company. Event they mess up. In the, yeah, in case they have what we call in this business, uh, pull a crucial Adam. <laughs> Adam, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, mybookie.ag? Well, the football season is back. It's back, and by the way, shout out to the Baltimore Jackson. Ravens. Justin Tucker, the greatest kicker of all time. Doinks in a 66-yarder to send the fucking Detroit Lions packing at their own home. Suck this fucking purple and black cock with feathers on its nuts, you fucking Detroit pieces of shit. But please buy tickets to see me can on you the give me, Can you hear me my phone? Where is um, it? So yeah, Nick, on, you have the proper coffee. Uh, you have uh, to shut your mouth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so just do it. I don't know. Hit yeah, it again. Uh, uh, let's, no, because i got to forward it to Adam. So uh, Hold on, I'll be back. But in the meantime, Adam, just guess what it is. Uh, Okay. Am I sitting on it? What the fuck is the fucking... Are we out of donuts? Damn. We're out of donuts. Fuck. I got six for... You could have six not enough, bro. What do you mean? Two each. That's nice. In the stead of lunch? It's not instead of lunch. It was for a sweet treat between... Come on. Two. You know it's instead of fucking I don't lunch. I start this again. I'm over here licking the fucking paper like an animal. It sounds like it's in the couch. sitting on it? Where the fuck is (laughs) 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 
Maybe it's... Damn, I just stood up. My head hurts from all the sugar. Is it under the donuts? Oh, maybe. No. Sounds like it's coming from... Should I call you? Is it under the couch? Oh, look. <clears throat> we'll we'll be back in a second. We're looking for Nick's phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can hear. You can probably hear his. I'm find my phone noise. <clears throat> Any moment now, folks. We will be finding Nick's phone. Ah, oh, there it is. I was in the couch cushions. Mm. <clears throat> oh, you're looking on the knife. There. I'm licking the knife we used to cut the donuts. Off. All, right, all right, here we go. So we're gonna go to my email, and then <laughs> um, we got a message here from Mr. Roy. <laughs> Mr. Roy from Parlay Media. Mm. Let's see, Roy. Um, hmm. Can you send it to my regular email? I think nine donuts would have actually been appropriate. Nine donuts seems like that's the number. I feel it's like a lunch, six is it's a, a lunch replacement. Amount. Hmm. It's a lunch replacement. And we probably eat the six at first, but right now, after the first six have worn off, uh-huh. one each more would have been just, just what the doctor ordered. Yeah. But hey. I appreciate it and thank you. You know, you you wake up and you try. You know, I said thank you. Yeah, no, because they sent us updated. There's stuff they wanted to. Uh, fucking, <clears throat> fucking wanted me to talk about. Aaron Rodgers had a thriller. Oh, in Sunday Night Football. Sunday Night watch. Football. The Raiders oh, are back. Sorry, folks. it's not Roy. It's Joey. <laughs> what the fuck happened to Roy? Roy's dead, dude. No, you know what? Oh man, he's gonna because they he listens to the show. I I forgot that Joey and Roy are two different guys. He's gonna that be happens. pissed off. Well, dude. they're they're both Canadians, so you talk to them on their phone. And they're like, you know, hey, I'm fucking. Hey, I'm the I'm the same. I'm, I'm, I'm a different I guy. Like the other guy. I'm the fucking other guy. Bro. I'm the other guy. Me and the other guy are guys with each other. <laughs> they got Joey's and Roy's. My in bookie promotional talking points. Adam, I'll hold my phone up, and you can read it from there. <laughs> Just no, nope. you phone. insisted on having glasses. I'm across the room, Mister. <laughs> I have glasses. I need, look at me and my glasses, and I, I can see glasses. everything. <laughs> I need them. Just and I, me you, the, I read it from there. Just, I can't read. Try it. your it's best. Try harder, uh, my bookie. I bet points, you're lying at mybookie.ag. <laughs> points nine, twenty eight, twenty one. Here we go. Uh. I can't, dude. I get a little closer. Read yeah, you're, a little re- closer. you're reading like a girl right now. What do you way. mean I'm reading like a girl? This with the way your eyes are moving. That's you're... a girl thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're like sit on the edge. Ooh, you like look really like you're small. looking Just at a penis. Just pass me the phone. This Saturday there will be blood. Had the, I guess I have to do it myself. Just pass me the phone. I'll do it. You know you're gonna fucking you're gonna get your fingers are covered in donut goo. You're gonna get goo all over. This gonna be goo everywhere. It's gonna be goo everywhere. It's hands. gonna be like, what? The, who the hell was touching this phone? Some Chinese was guy. Was it a Chinese guy? Was this Chinese phone? Head to mybookie.ag and get in on the UFC First Blood promotion. When any fighter on the main card bleeds, you win. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it sounds like if you go on my bookie uh, once a month in Adam's house, Uh-oh. or at Adam's pa- pants, in Adam's cock. Yeah. Right under his cock. Yeah, and the Adam's He's got a crotch. pussy. If you bet on Adam's crotch once a month at mybookie.ag, it sounds like you're going to win. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's on his period. He's, he gets on his period. The second you see blood, you get paid. With this bet centered around five main card bouts, including two title fights, you know the octagon won't say dry for long. So take the advantage of this mm-hmm. opportunity. Make some easy money with my bookie. Nick Diaz has bled in three of his last four fights. I think that fight happened. Yeah, I think it was Saturday. on Saturday. Yeah, uh, and Robbie Lawler is a leaky faucet. So you know, by the end of his five round rematch, blood will be spilled. Who won that? I think it was Lawler it? did. Lawler. Yeah, Robbie Lawler won. 
<laughs> so you can bet. So this is actually a really good opportunity yeah, for you guys. MyBookie.com. Yeah, because you already you know who won. Yeah, you can bet on old stuff. <laughs> so you can bet on My old bookie stuff. MyBookie now yeah, use promo code promo code. So, oh fuck! I bet the Diamondbacks won. Is the it come town or World is it come town? Two thousand one World Series. Shut up. Is it come town or come town twenty? Why? Why? What's, why, why? What do you mean? Why? Why the shut up? Because I'm trying to read. And I don't read like a girl. I read like a man where no. I can only focus on the reading I'm doing. I'm not like, you know, reading and then also thinking about my fucking boyfriend or posting yeah. pictures of the reading on yeah. Instagram mm-hmm. or being like, oh, I love literature. Yeah. No. I read hard. Yeah. Yeah. Every word. Double. Deposit. Bonus. That's. Promo. Code. <laughs> Come town. 20. Two. Double. Your money, men's reading. That's how yeah. man reads. It is so you can double your winnings with my book. <coughs> what kind of socks are those, Adam? Why are you wearing them inside out? I don't know. I just, I just put them. Oh, on inside looks like out. you wanted to do something fucking wacky and different. <laughs> Why is? What kind are they? Uh, Nike, I think. But yeah, what's Nike. the? What's the? Why is it so much black? I don't know. It's no, he got just supreme. Do it or no, he got supreme. Oh, okay. Those socks. are nice. Those are cute. You yeah. should have worn them outside. It wasn't deliberate. I wasn't being a manic pixie. Dream. I think you what? were. Yeah, no, I wasn't. Why would you wear them upside down? I'm not. I'm not a manic pixie, dude. I wasn't doing that for attention. I'm a manic. <laughs> doing I'm a manic cluxy no. clan, clan girl. <laughs> <laughs> My dream is to date a manic cluxy clan girl. <laughs> <laughs> And that's uh, eternal sunshine of the spotless race, the truly spotless mind. <laughs> and if that's not all, if you deposit now, you'll get a free entry into my bookie's fifty thousand dollar NFL survival. Wow! Survival. Wow! Fuck! Uh-huh. That's exciting. That's God a damn, double. Uh-huh. Man, I would love to win fifty thousand dollars. That'd be awesome. Can you imagine how crazy that would be? Life changing. Yeah. <laughs> You finally start that Quiznos. Yeah. You you know how much money you need to open a Quiznos? You probably need probably like a more, million dollars. More than that. Probably yeah. probably about two Are million dollars in startup costs, yeah. For a fucking Quiznos it's expensive For a Quiznos, to yeah. start a franchise, yeah. Shit. It costs a hundred thousand dollars to open a fucking red box. What? Yeah. The vending machine? Yeah, everything is everything is expensive. A fucking red box? That's why it's funny, all these like financial advice blogs are like, why don't you just open a McDonald's? <laughs> It's like, oh, are you out of college? Don't want to work for somebody else. Open a fucking Why, have a yeah, McDonald's. Have a Maybe you could just oh, you could own Microsoft. Could Shaquille O'Neal has a lot of uh, wing stops. Yeah, does yeah. he? A lot of and uh, other stuff. A too. lot of black celebrities bought wing stops. Rick Ross, Rick Ross I think, Ross, is one yeah. of the main investors. Yeah, I would be in on Wingstop. The Steve Urkel guy. That's a double deposit bonus, free money on UFC. Jaleel White, and a free shot at fifty thousand dollars. That's what I call winning season, baby. <laughs> yes, baby. Just win, baby. Just win, baby. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my bookie, mm-hmm. the penis set website. <laughs> They got a lot of nice cock over the there. The website yeah. designed to get your dick hard. So hard that you know you, you fucking get attain a your, perfect type of your bedding. Your dick's going to yeah, be so you hard, can, you're going to say, what is? what do you got back there, a Chinese guy? <laughs> Why is my dick so hard? Is a Why Chinese is guy programming hard? this? Is my dick too small to go to the bathroom? <laughs> You'll have questions like that. Is my dick too and penis? It, and, and in my bookie, they'll have the answers. You can bet on all of it. You can bet. Yes, my Jesus. dick is too small. Georgia man, 25, undergoes double lung transplant due to COVID-19. Damn. That's gay. It just ate away my lungs, Blake Bargatze said. Nate Bargatze. Bargatze. Blake Bargatze is, is Nate's alter ego. Wow. His lungless alter ego. Damn, double Where do you even get two lungs? I don't dead, know. Dead, Some body. dead motherfucker with nice lungs? Why does he need two? Dead body. To swim. To swim. Yeah, you can get by on one, right? Yeah, you don't need that. Like when they do a kidney transplant, like they don't give you two two new kidneys. You just get one. one of them. Maybe Blake's rich. Mm-hmm. Got two. Maybe he wants to smoke fucking dabs. Yeah, maybe he needs to take the biggest rips ever. That's a real fucking serious possibility. Uh, that's true. 
I'm getting sleepy off these fucking donuts. I'm dude. sorry about that. Sorry, right, a little protein might have been able to ca- carry me better, but it's no big deal. 24 year old Blake Bargetzi went to this concert in Florida where he lived. He thought the crowd would be small. Blake was not vaccinated. He did wear a mask. Once I got in there, there was, there was just way too many, and I got really hot, and I took it off. Damn, this is wild. Just so, just so you guys can, we're going to play it back, so you can. <laughs> we're going to run this back, so you guys can take this all in. Yeah, it's crazy. In March of 2021. Let's just stop 20, that here. March of 2021. Think about that. That's what? That's four, a couple of months ago. That's four or five months ago. Yeah. Let's get back to it. Blake Bargetzi went to this concert in Florida where he lived. What was a concert? Yeah, what what is a concert, actually? Yeah, what is a concert? That's true. What the hell is a concert? Yeah. I've thought about that a lot, yeah. and I think it's usually when guys play music. I, or girls. I don't even know in this day and age who's going to stuff anymore. Yeah. You see, they just had this thing, they call it Lollapalooza in, in Chicago. Calif- California, Chicago? Yeah. California, Chicago, very similar. Same. Mm-hmm. Cali, Chicago. Chicago. Cali, Chicago. 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 You can see why many people would be confused. Yeah. Between the betwixt mm-hmm. the two, um, I always call them the two. California, Chicago. Yes, yeah. I say that. I've said. I see people, and I say it's been a while since I've visited the two. The two. <laughs> I love going to Chicago, <laughs> popping over to Cali for a little fucking burrito <laughs> for dinner. I love. Ah, I, I see you will be summering in the two, mm-hmm. the two baby. Yeah, mm-hmm. hitting up Lake Michigan Beach. Yeah, or Laguna, or Laguna Beach, or Malibu, right down the road, <laughs> right down the road. And uh, and so I guess this guy, he's from Chicago, and he was at Lollapalooza. And let's hear his story. The crowd would be small. Blake was not like Adam Scott. That's fuck. That's stupid. You thought the crowd in Lollapalooza would be small. This thing is basically. It's like the. Uh, it's the event of the summer. It's like the 1938 Nuremberg rally. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's like yeah. that level of kind of event. Yeah. That's how excited it's people are. So you were. had to be there, kind of thing. <laughs> That's the kind of the enthusiasm and vibe yeah. that yeah. we're feeling at Lollapalooza this year. Oh, we got. Yeah. The, uh, all these people that are excited not only see Billie Eilish but also Mayor Lori Lightfoot. She's gonna be there. Who's she's gonna looking be looking like a like a toddler who stole with, her dad's suits? Right, yeah. with her boyfriend Michael Keaton. They are dating, and they're they gonna, have been linked. They're yeah. gonna be having sex on stage. <laughs> wow. He did wear a mask. Once I got in there, there was there was just way too many, and I got really hot, and I took it off. After so he a while, didn't wear a mask. Probably wasn't the wisest decision on my part. His mother, Cheryl Nuclo, was not happy with him. Then when I found out he went to a concert, I was pretty upset about it. <laughs> Two days later, Blake was diagnosed <laughs> exactly. with COVID. I had a really said. bad headache. I started getting body aches, and then a day or two after that, I started having a high fever. I uh, went from 102 to 103 and then up to 104. April 10th, he was admitted to the hospital where things went downhill quickly. Damn. He had to be intubated, and COVID was damaging his lungs. His mother had him flown to his native Atlanta where she lived. That's where he got the bad news. Well, I'm sorry, but it seems to me that uh, the real problem here is being from Atlanta and not a lack of vaccination. Yeah, yeah, that's true. If there's always because we see a lot of these stories now about unvaccinated people, and they just they plug that in and they they don't mention whether they're uh, from yeah, Atlanta. Yeah, you're from not. Atlanta. Did you go to fucking Lollapalooza? <laughs> right. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. You know, all right, at, have you spent much time at the two? At the two. At the at el <laughs> el two. The dose. Yeah. Um, dose. You know, that's the kind of. That's I'm the kind of guy that likes to do his own research. Yeah, you know I get that. I mean? That's like so I, Atlanta. I said, let me go ahead and not use a condom with this uh, Asian. Because I'm because I don't think they can get pregnant. My research honest, says you know. this feels way better. This than wearing feels a condom. better. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I'm trying. I'm that's the research I'm doing. Mm-hmm. What feels yeah. better, condom, no condom? Professor yeah. Emeritus Stavros of Raw Doggery, of Raw, Raw Dog U, <laughs> Raw yeah. Dog University. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I'm emeritus now, but I made tenure the hard way. Getting my dick sucked, mm-hmm. fucking pussy, fucking ass. Yeah, mm. that's blue, blue collar style. Getting jacked off. Yeah, you know? and yeah, have I got my dick sucked with the condoms to do, 
to do a control group. Yeah. You've done that? And it sucked. The condom dick sucked? I mean, twice in my entire life. I've, that know? seems like a sex worker thing. It's I, romantic. I mean, I've, I was like, okay. I cannot imagine. Can. There's no... I could... There's no way I could get off. Yeah, well, I was like, all right, I guess, if you want to. And then I was like, all right, let's just fuck, because it's just ridiculous. Uh-huh. So you took the condom off and fucked her. <laughs> yeah, so I took the condom off, and I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah. I'm I gonna... know you're into safety, but we should just have... Yeah, but the pussy's an yeah. ideal that's, uh, mechanism. That's what I call... It's a pussy. self... Cl- oh, oh, now the pussy's not self-cleaning. Yeah. Now yeah. I got to put a condom on. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, all the rest of my life, I'm hearing the pH balance is the right thing. That's true. It cleans itself. But now when my cock is uh-huh. inside, it doesn't, that's, it stops. Yeah. I like to have a woman do an acid base test before I go into the pussy. Do you like your pussy acidic or basic? I like it uh, balanced. I want a little tang. Yeah, I like it neutral. Mm-hmm. Oh, you like acid? I, I want a little acid, a little lime. Well, nice, the thing is, brother. this guy's <laughs> asshole is actually self cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> the pH balance is. There's yeast in my ass that yeah. keeps it clean, mm-hmm. like a dog's ass. Yep, yep, <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> yep. In a similar way to a dog. Very ass. similar. Yeah. Yeah. Dog if something are cleaner. If than a baby's pacifier ladies. falls in a dog's ass, you can put it right in your baby's mouth. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Don't have to clean it. At it all. would be funny to just like a gay guy with like a little bonnet on walking around with a pacifier in his asshole <laughs> <laughs> and pride. <laughs> <laughs> like just sucking his thumb and he's That got would a, be awesome He's got a <laughs> Yeah And he's like Mega Maggie Simpson Yeah exactly exactly He's fucking prolapsing his ass <laughs> in and out <laughs> With a pacifier If you're gay and you're listening to the show Try that try. Out. <laughs> Yeah let us know Go ahead and try it try out Try that Send pictures to Adam And give us a call Send pictures at to stop. 7- No 704 We'll send pictures to Nick He wanted G- to give him the Give him the 98 Rock yeah, number again yeah, they Send pictures to <laughs> 704 um, Adam Friedman. <laughs> six, five two four. Four seven six. No, 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 we won't do it. <laughs> that's that's worse than the address. All right, let's beep that. That is at forty one forty. Yeah, they don't. They don't. There's not enough to phone them. But they got the exchange. What are they going to do? Write a program that calls everyone? Literally, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what, are, what are they going to do? Call every one of these numbers until... <clears throat> until you um, find your sweetheart. Uh, super... Oh, gee, super... Again, super especioso. Have them do us a favor and open the drawer and find the piece of paper that contains the information... Sure. So that we can get paid her by mm-hmm. reading about fucking vapors. Vapors. Freedom gives your whole body energy, but for some people it's like coffee for your cock or your vagina. If you're tired from sex that you've been having, taking Damn. Super Speciosa can energize I wish you girls to fuck like to a show. god. That'd be cool. You think so? Yeah, and then we could call them up and be like, so what are you up to? Yeah. What's up, bitch? What's going yeah. on? How'd you like the show this week? How, how do you feel about the new Israeli prime minister? Yeah, and more importantly, how big are your tits? At the UN, Naftali Bennett says Iran has crossed all the nuclear red lines. Naftali? Yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty cool name, even though he sounds like a bitch. Yeah. But Naftali's pretty cool of a name. Kind of Russian sounding. Yeah, what's up with that? Yeah, well, Israel's all just white people that moved there five years ago. That's true. That's true. But they have a historic claim to the... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not the people that have literally yeah, their entire right. families. Yeah, there. exactly. Yeah, no, those people are all. <laughs> what are y'all talking about? Nothing. Don't worry about Don't it. Don't worry about it, dude. Super speciosa. Go back are you to... an aging millennial, new aches and pains? Kratom is great for pain relief. And if you hurt your back, pull a muscle from all that fucking. Unwind <laughs> with a glass of Kratom tea. I love I, when I When I've pulled my back from fucking, which I have done, actually. Yeah. I love Kratom tea to fucking solve it. Damn. Did you ever get a Charlie horse in your ass while fucking? Yep. Yeah. Brutal how that feels. Yeah. But it's something you can prevent. Was you mean when your bo- you mean when your boyfriend Charlie fucks your ass? Yeah. Is that what you is that what you call it, a Nick? No. Getting a Charlie horse yeah, in your ass. Yeah, what's about that pain in your ass when you're having sex, Nick? <laughs> Charlie. What's that pain? It's from being dehydrated because I don't drink water like a fucking girl, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I drink beer. <laughs> I drink nothing but Diet Dr. Pepper. Uh, yeah. 
If you're only jerking it and you develop a wrist injury and you need a little extra push to get to come town, mm. Super Speciosa's Kratom will get you there. Kratom is the secret supplement that influence, influencers don't want you to know about. <laughs> Super How does that make Mex- Mex- Yeah, yes. Addison Ray takes Kratom. Yeah. She's doing her little TikTok dances. Yeah. Who's the, who's the, big, uh, the big bitch who was in the news this week? London... Uh, is there a big bitch in the news? Yeah, there's. Um, she used to Tess Holiday. Who's that? You know who she is. Oh, one of the one of the the big bitches of Instagram. Yeah. She's the one. She was like like when fat acceptance was starting to to take off. She was like the one of the first big bitches. Mm. But she's bigger. She's like even bigger than most. Mm. And so people were like, okay, well this is too far. Yeah. Oh really? This, yeah, this is what she looks like. Mm, I see. Yeah, but, like that's unhealthy. That's but, crazy. Um, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, she was something news. Uh, yeah, some so. for some reason. I guess Adam could finish his little read and then we can come back to it. Kratom helps you write jokes. I imagine this is why you're so damn funny. Kratom is a super leaf. It's a cousin of coffee, but it's you know just what? she's looking good in my book. Yeah, what book is that? The menu from fucking <laughs> Cheesecake Factory. Cheese- yeah. <laughs> That's a good book. <laughs> suck my dick. Show me your tits. I'm fucking Suck gay. my dick. Suck my dick. Super Speciosa's Kratom is 100% all natural. The funniest part is her t- she's so big, her tattoos are like... Stretched. Uh, well, not they're not stretched. They take up... Yeah. You know, like they have. You could really do. There's a work portrait there. of a person that's bigger than her on her yeah, arm. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> she, she, that's that. If you're a fucking tattoo artist, that's your canvas right there. Yeah, you got to charge more for ink. That's right. Um, kratom can help improve your mood, deliver energy, and reduce pain. <sighs> It helps people feel better. It can relieve stress and take the edge off. I love that kind of Super stuff. Super Speciosa wants you to come again with unlimited use of 20% Holy promo code. Shit. Unlimited. Folks, promo this is too good of a fucking deal. Promo uh, code holy come town. My grandpa used to say all the time, holy mackerel. Holy mackerel. Yeah. A fish. That's what he would say. He'd say, holy mackerel. Holy fucking So the shit. promo code is come town. And you get 20% off your entire entire order. Go to getsuperleaf.com slash cometown, promo code cometown for 20% off. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's now get... that is fucking awesome. Yeah. That's, that's, that's going to really uh, do all those things that they said it was going to do. <laughs> I love Kratom, man. Yeah. I just slurp it up, put it in my cock. Yeah. Oh, this is what I saw. It was this Daily Mail story about her at Disney World. I just thought the uh, the picture was funny. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to her? That, uh, she's just eating nothing. a popsicle. She's just eating a popsicle, but she's got Mickey Mouse ears on. Nick, uh-huh. Nick, you must have like a Google alert for when a fat person does something embarrassing. Uh, well, it's just very funny to me. He <laughs> wrote an algorithm. You know what's funny? I was literally in Target weighing my options as far as like do I want the giant Toblerone or mm. dark chocolate and then I thought to myself it would be funny if a fat person was doing this yeah yeah you know? yeah <laughs> and then I just imagined a fat person doing exactly what I was doing and I'm like you dummy you are you're a piece <laughs> of shit <laughs> not yeah. me I'm <laughs> I'm balancing it out with cocaine <laughs> So I can never gain weight because my heart's about to explode. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Take that. Take that, you fucking fatty. You fat piece of shit. But I don't, I see, I don't dislike fat people. I just think it's very funny to be very to fat. To be fat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You definitely have some kind of you dislike seated fat issues. No, I don't. From I'm, when you were a fat child. Yeah, you're a former fat, Nick. I know, but that doesn't but that doesn't mean I hate fat people. There's some there. There's some. You don't hate them, obviously. No, no. But you all. have a you have an there's an interesting relationship to fat people. Well, no, I mean I've explained it before, but unless cuz see, you've never not been fat. Right. And then when you're not fat anymore, you do notice the difference in the way people treat you, and that's when you're like Mm-hmm. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you haven't if you haven't crossed that barrier, yeah, you're really sort of blind to, uh, you know, you could be an ally to the plus size though, instead of being a traitor. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You, you should just imagine around. for your imagine for a second, like how much your life would suck if you weren't funny. 
Right. Oh if my you God. were fat, bald, dude, toothless. don't even get me. F- if, I'm gonna start crying if I think of that. <laughs> no, yeah, sure you, <laughs> no, but now imagine, yeah, now sure imagine you're Williams. not. Now imagine you're not funny, but then also you're six three. You have a full head of hair, mm. and you have all your teeth. Be cool. Suddenly, none of that other shit matters, or well, it's gone. But I don't know. No, nah, it does. Yeah, you would be happy. I know what you mean. I probably would. Be, it'd be an easier life for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. I've noticed plenty of no, six it's, three it's people. Honestly, you know what the thing is, is is being fat and laughing at being fat is is a movement towards like absurdist resignation, which is sort of like the key essence to like uh, like the visceral comedy that I guess I feel like everybody there is enjoys. a visceral comedy to a fat guy like falling or something. Well, a fat guy, no, funny. like you know what it is, like a fat guy. Like specifically, well, whatever. I mean, it doesn't fucking matter. I'm not going to go into comedy theory, but the, the, uh, yeah, it, it, it is a, it is very funny. No matter I where you go in the world, people will laugh at that. That's true. I don't think no matter where you go in the world, people would laugh at Seinfeld necessarily. No, it's a universal humor. There is a universal humor. That's true. And I will say, I wouldn't mind if my dick was that popsicle that that fat lady was sucking on. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. That's the kind of guy I am, dude. These 18 celebrities have openly discussed having an abortion, and here are their stories. And uh, so we got Stevie Nicks. We got a bitch from uh, That 70s Show. Which Rose one? Milano. Whoopi Goldberg. Oh. Whoopi Goldberg had an abortion? Well, like recently? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been yeah. nutting inside her for years. I found out I was pregnant when I was 14. I didn't get a period. I talked to nobody. I panicked. I sat in hot baths. I drank these strange... She didn't get she an abortion. Was, she poisoned herself. She was trying to boil the fucking embryo out. I drank That's these strange sad. concoctions girls told me about. Something like Johnny Walker Red with a little bit of Clorox. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this bitch is drinking bleach. That's horrific. Yeah. Damn. Fuck that! Fuck that little ass clump of. Get it, get boarded out, dude. Get that pussy. Yeah. Man. Vacuumed out. Who else is that? Chelsea Handler. No surprise. Yeah. Chelsea Handler told Playboy she had two abortions at sixteen years old. I'm sure, like at a facility, mm-hmm. at the White Ladies Abortion Clinic. For yeah. it's very funny to follow up Whoopi Goldberg saying, "I drank battery acid, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. I secretly." <laughs> <laughs> I poured hot bacon grease Handler, into my pussy. Like, yeah, my family, we had a... I was the, the abortion debutante that year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like a crisis counselor. <laughs> yeah. I accidentally became pregnant twice with a mixed-race baby, so... She seems like white trash, though. You think she was rich? Um, I have no idea, uh, but the contrast with yeah, yeah, yeah. this last one. Who else? Poor Whoopi. Gloria Steinem. Margaret Cho. Okay. Margaret chose. How about that? <laughs> That's yeah, true. Her choice. Yeah. Margaret choice. I just want a job in the New York Post doing headlines. You would be good at the it, puns, man. Puns, yeah. Margaret chose. She had an abortion. <laughs> I was doing that other one because they would they fly, uh, the 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 you know because the, with the Gabby Petito thing they're like why are we talking about the uh-huh. about the Indian right the Indian know? van life girl and there's a missing Asian girl and I said. Uh, we're in the world is uh, Jackie Chan Diego. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> New York Post. We're in the- <laughs> That's really good, man. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that really works. <laughs> Where in the world is Jackie Chan Diego? <laughs> Just on the cover of the New York. <laughs> this is the girl's family. <laughs> <laughs> Where in the world is Jackie Chan Diego? Her name is Laura. Her name's Lauren Cho. So you could probably even get closer to the San the Carmen San Diego with Lauren Cho. But uh, it's just you know I considered it, and I think it's funnier to go Jackie Chan Diego. <laughs> Jackie Chan. <laughs> Jackie Chan Diego. Chan and San rhyming really is doing most of the heavy lifting there. Yeah, but that's but how- it's really good. That's the thing because see a, a lesser mind yeah of course would come at me and say Lauren Cho already sounds like Carmen San Diego you just need to figure out a way to get Sandy mm-hmm. Sandy in there right 
where in the world is Lauren Sandy Ch- Sandy A Cho? You know, okay, you that's know, way t- worse. It is way worse yeah. because Doesn't sometimes it's not about what works technically, but what's with it's a much an emotional style response. and tonal, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. flourish, yeah. yeah, and that's where you get where in the world is Jackie Chan Diego, <laughs> <laughs> which you know. So oh just, look, all I'm saying, New York Post, give me a job. They might, dude. Mm-hmm. That'd be a good second act for you. Yeah. They fucking might, Chief. <sighs> Yeah, I'm ready for a little nap. Did you find that Jackie Chan Diego chick? Or she's still missing. Uh, is there an, an Asian girl missing? I think they. That's I don't know. It's pretty sad actually. But like a couple of like well intentioned people, they just fucking like got some girl and brought her back to this family's house, and she's in tears, and they're just uh-huh. holding her down in the you know the squad car, and they bring her to the family, and they're like, yeah, that's not her. So. <laughs> Um, you live to learn. <laughs> I think they just had the like a couple of good Samaritans. <laughs> they had, yeah, they had to just accept that, that one sort of case, right? Case cold, cold, cold case for for good. But they meant well. Yeah, I mean, and that's it. She also went missing in the desert, and the sand is you know kind of the same color. And I always hear. <laughs> And it's, there's so much, I wouldn't say that at so all, much, actually. Uh, there's so much sun out there, everyone's squinting. And <laughs> okay, interesting. So there's it's so what you're saying story. is a Chinese woman went missing, mm-hmm. and because of the sand, that is the same color as her, mm-hmm. she was impossible to find. No, I didn't say that. Uh, Yahoo News. Let's go to. Let's hit the news for the. Day. Let's hit the fucking news. IRS would track all bank transactions over six hundred dollars under Biden plan. <laughs> what yeah, the hell? Uh, Fuck off, yeah. Uncle Sam. That's why I'm a cash only type. Cash of only. I yeah. pay for everything with that. Keep shot. it under the mattress. Uh, so and that's six hundred dollars. That's Businesses nothing. Revolt. Um, that's a lunch. How am I supposed to buy pussy with my Chase account? account? Yeah. Uh, Sleepy Joe, uh, Joe, Joe over the limit. Uh, Sleepy Joe. Uh, oh, we're doing New York, New York Post. New York Post. Adam, stay with it. Okay. Okay? Yeah. $600. Biden's in tracking. So Biden's books, the budget, ledger. Ledger. Uh, by, uh, Dad, B, Daddy Biden. Tracks the money, <laughs> sleepy <laughs> ma- malarkey money. Just sleepy Jomo I sexual. Okay. <laughs> sleepy Jomo sexual. <laughs> sleepy Jomo sexuals budget buffoonery. That's good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next story. <laughs> right. That's really good. Yeah. Yes. Next. Sleepy Jomo. Sleepy Jomo <laughs> sexuals budget buffoonery. Yeah, I um, love it. <laughs> All right, here he goes. He's a 25-year-old. You get the double lung transplant due to um, the COVID-19. So replacement lungs. Uh Uh-huh. What rhymes with lungs? Well, not not necessarily have to rhyme with lungs. Mm -hmm. It's just what would be a New York Post headline. Yeah. Double could be something. Yeah. a uh, cloud of breath, Instagram mm. star loses lungs. Um, He's an Instagram star. Well, I have to say, we later found out he wasn't an Instagram star. But, uh, <laughs> he's twenty-five. As Congress delays legislative action, some communities take police reform into their own hands. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, Stand your ground. All right. So, what what kind of communities are we talking about here? What are you laughing? I'm thinking I'm thinking about maybe they're Chinese. Yeah. How about um Ninja Warrior, Ninja Gaiden? Collapse last week. But as Chris Van Cleve reports, some communities aren't waiting for Congress to act. Police respond to a suicidal man in June. He's got a knife outside the train station in Aurora, <laughs> Illinois. Oh, the shit. officers called for backup from a social worker. Some less lethal. And after about an hour, what could have been deadly 
ended peacefully. We're not afraid to try new things. Keith Cross is Aurora's chief of police. The 27-year veteran runs the second largest city police department. So I guess it does work. Yeah. Um, we're in the social world. Kerr is uh, Jackie Chan. Yeah. Jackie Chan yeah. <laughs> From the New York Post. <laughs> um, social work this cock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Social work the pole. Social work. Uh, the prison. The uh, Rachel Dolezal Yeah Is in the news this week Oh really? Yeah She's going back to white She got COVID Rachel really? Dolezal she got did? COVID Yeah It's ravaging the black community It is And uh, that's She's having a real rough time with it And she's saying that proves that she's black <laughs> Oh cause Moderna uh, So maybe black after all Yeah those all gets yeah. COVID. Oh, hey, Black. Reagan Reagan shooter John Hinckley wins unconditional release. Oh. Nice. That's pretty cool. That's sort of woke news. Yeah. He's the guy that shot Reagan. They're just letting him out of jail. <laughs> Why do you do it to impress Nancy Reagan? No, to impress uh, Jodie Foster. Yeah. To impress... To impress Sandro. How about this? Free at last. Time to get mm-hmm. pussy from Jodie Foster. It was fun. Hinkley seeks pussy from Jodie yeah. Foster. <laughs> she's been saving after it. all these. Years. That's why yeah, she's been, gay. Yeah, I guess I have to. I guess no I have to give him pussy it. now until Hinkley's out. Yeah, <laughs> Clarice, you're going to have to give pussy. You're to going to have to sack off John Hinkley. Clarice. What if I told you you'll have to give pussy to John Hinkley? <laughs> I don't want to do that, Doctor Lecter. <laughs> It's not up to you, guys. <laughs> oh, Clarice. Oh, Clarice. Yeah. <laughs> Where is Corey, Mr. Feeney? I sucked his penis. I fucked him in his ass. I sucked his balls. I sucked his balls, Clarice. <laughs> 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 I sucked his balls, Corey. I fucked his ass. I fucked his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Mr. Masters? <laughs> Corey, I fucked Corey. <laughs> I <laughs> fucked him to death. I fucked him, Clarice. <laughs> I fucked him to death, Clarice. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. It's funny when you. It's funny as a concept, <clears throat> and then you start thinking about Mr. Feeney pulling his cock out, and he's fucking uh, Corey. Corey, but he's wearing a sweater up top. Oh yeah, nice R but His guy. cock is uh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Sucked his cock. You're not calling a duck. <laughs> well, I'm gay. I'm gay, Mr. Yeah. Matthews. Yeah, we just uh, we're going through YouTube. Right now. <laughs> We've mentioned it before, but shout out to the lady that yeah. was in Boy Meets World. How about a story? Somebody sends. Oh, yeah, she was hot. Now she does. How about this? Somebody, yeah. somebody needs to use uh, the dark web to send Kamala Harris a picture of their penis, mm-hmm. and that'll be international news. Mm-hmm. And then I can get a job in the New York Post pitching who tube as a headline. Oh, when who's they, they're trying to figure out whose dick it is. Yeah. Right. Who tube? Who tube? Yeah. Kamala Jackie Chan Harris <laughs> shown penis. <laughs> she didn't want to see this. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> I mean, she's in a rush for yeah. an hour to not look at that yeah. cock. Uh, Something like that. Yeah. Mr. Magoo. 
<laughs> no, 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 no. It's no, a blind. No. It's a story. No, blind. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> He said, Mr. Magoo, everyone, and then he <clears throat> coughed a little bit. Uh, yeah, I have COVID. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, the Va- Maxine Waters does something, and they call it Vaccine, Vaccine, Maxine. That's good. That's really good. That's Just got good. a pussy blown out uh, <laughs> by Tess Holliday's Popsicle. Wow. Now, that's oh, some that kind of pornography bitch. I'd love to yeah. watch. Yeah. Well, an old bitch and a fat bitch. Uh, meet porn pop. Joe Biden caught with gay porn mm-hmm. on his phone in the middle of mm. a press conference. Or hunting for gay porn. Yeah. What else was on yeah. Hunter's laptop? Yeah. He had gay porn on there? No, I think he was just just regular. What about uh, meet porn black? Uh, Hunter, and it's, uh, Hunter uh, Wideman. Meet- Meet yeah. uh, uh, Hunter Biden's shocking 300-pound weight gain. Uh, okay. Th- and uh, predicted soon to happen by the New York <laughs> Post. <laughs> oh, they tell him the future. <laughs> These pictures show us what it might look like if Hunter Biden were to gain 300 Hell pounds. Oh, yeah. And it's just the... They fi- should... That's honestly how all their news should... You should start with the headlines. <gasps> yeah. And then reverse engineer the news from there. I think there was... A, what, what was the TV I'm going to buy the New York that? Post and... The TV show is Boy Meets World. Where he gets all tomorrow's I saw his headlines penis, today. Mr. Yeah. Batman. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> Mr. Batman. I'm going to sock the Joker's <laughs> penis. <laughs> Mr. Batman. <laughs> Mr. Police. Show you me. You could have saved her. You could have saved her, Mr. You Police. You could have saved her, Mrs. Mrs. Police. But I fucked her pussy. Mm. Mr. Feeney. What was that guy up to? Young, he was in the Graduate. Oh shit! Yeah, he was. I also remember there was like a actors' strike, and he was the head of SAG. Nice. Mm-hmm. He was like giving a speech. Was he in World Police or the Film Actors Guild? Yeah, the yeah. fag. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Very yeah. funny. You say good job, fag. Young Mr. Feeney kind of looks like Adam. What do you mean? He's got a sharp ass nose. Look at this t- TMZ video. Remember Mr. Feeney? And it's just them harassing him. He's just old as <laughs> shit. He's harassing an old and man. TMZ. Did you ever rape anybody? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. My man's iconic role was Mr. Feeney. I'm going to try to put this as kindly as possible. Your dick is small. <laughs> <laughs> the show has turned into a circus, and you three are driving the tiny car. <laughs> Mr. Feeney, I, I mean, I, I'm proud that I knew that Krusty the Clown was the son of a rabbi. I answer a real question, Mr. Feeney, about the tigers in the Euphrates. I think the as penguin would suck my dick. I would never deny you your yeah. moment in the sun. The penguin from Batman? Yeah, the penguin. The penguin. Yeah, the penguin. That'd yeah. be cool. Let me just go ahead and... <clears throat> the penguin nude. Mm. Looks like a got little any, fakes. Got anything good, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Find anything good? <laughs> no, just a lot of fakes. Yeah. And some uh, some girls that are doing porn that vaguely look like her. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Some girls should make her porn in Topanga. I think there is. I would click on that. Are we will still play in The Sims. That's got to be a weird thing to do these days. I feel like they're doing like yeah, I simulate Minecraft. people. In my apartment, Minecraft. Yeah, you don't say. I feel like that took over. The Sims was Sims. pretty fun. Yeah, it was. I don't play it anymore, yeah. but I did when I was younger. Yeah, I liked um, the mm-hmm. Roller Coaster Tycoon. How about the Sims Sim City? That's good. The Sims yeah. and they're it's a horny. simulation. Yeah, they just did. they're horny for they're horny for bitches. Only fans. Uh, only only fans. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, That's good. Yeah. Only Chan's a missing okay. Chinese sex worker goes missing. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Missing Chinese sex worker goes missing again. Uh, only Chan's. Only Chan's too. Where in the world is Jackie Chan Diego? Yeah. Where in Jackie Chan's Diego is Mr. Di- Diego? That could be another one. Where's Mr. One. Diego? Where's Mr. Diego's uh, opus? That uh-huh. could be a movie. That could be a movie. Mr. Diego's Opus? Mr. Diego's Jackie Chan Opus. <laughs> yeah. Who's <laughs> Diego, exactly? <laughs> he He's the character played by Jackie Chan. Mr. Holland's Diego yeah. penis. 
And he's a <laughs> teacher that's got a. He's yeah. pulling. The, he's Mr. like, Hol- uh, Mr. Holland. They brought me in. Penis. <laughs> <laughs> they brought me in to teach. Teach violin. Why don't we unruly Hispanic kids? Yeah, we could show like, it. We're not listening to you. And then he pulls out his dick, and it's got a little sombrero on the top. Oh, and they respect it. Oh shit! Like, yeah. he's, he's like, like what? He's like, what's up now? Make my day. That's he's a like, cool penis, Holmes. Yeah. Now we're gonna play fucking Moonlight Sonata. That's a fucking cool penis, Holmes. Yeah, <laughs> let's get those those strings going. <laughs> Do, 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 Mr. Hollis, Diego do, do, do. Penis, written by the New York Post. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. You don't even want credit, screenwriting credit. Yeah. You're a company man. Mm-hmm. You love the New York Post. New York Penis. Mm, Mr. Hollis, That'd be Diego a good Penis. <laughs> uh, I, the New Penis Times. The New Penis Times. Yeah. yeah. I like that. I typed in Mr. Holland's Diego penis into Google and it said, Do you mean Mr. Holland's Diego penis? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. How they figure oh, out. Oh, damn. Look at this. The first result is Mr. Holland's bogus by the Tampa Bay Times. Wow. Upstaging the New York get, Post. Yeah. Wow. Mr. Holland's bogus. It's a bad review. Yeah. They didn't like it. They didn't. Krippendorf's Tribe is a smutty little so-called family comedy. I remember won't be remembered movie. for anything except its constantly phallic humor and how two bright new actors ro- rose above it. A pair of old pros what were movie? so fortunate. Mr. Holland's Opus. No, it's it's also with Richard Dreyfuss, but he plays like a like an anthropologist. Remember these names if you haven't already picked up on them. Jenna Elfman and Natasha Lyonne. Whoa, two young women okay. who deserve to be movie okay. stars. He's right about that. Elfman, of course, is growing. You're listening to the reading movie reviews from 20 years ago podcast. <laughs> yeah, that probably movie 30, is old as probably shit. 30 dude. years. <laughs> Mr. Holland's penis. Jenna Elfman. She was in. What the fuck was she? Richard Dreyfus and Lily right. Tomlin should know better. When they read Charlie Peter's screenplay, did they sense that the only th- three big laughs in the first thirty-five minutes are two penis jokes? Sounds good to me. It sounds like a fucking good movie, you dumb sounds bitch. Like Tampa <laughs> Bay, Tampa Bay should shut up. The fuck totally are you is. saying? Yeah, Tampa Bay Times, more like uh, Campa Bay, Campa mm-hmm. Gay, yeah. uh, Camp, Tampa Gay, Camp Gay, mm-hmm. Camp uh, Molest Boys. Mm. Bay, mm-hmm. by mms, gay, Tampa gay by mms. Now I'm looking up Jenna Elfman naked. Tampa gay guys. Nothing too good here Shut either. Up, dude. Why? What was wrong with that? We Because we moved on already. We, there was one you second. The chance to say some. <coughs> I miss when I could jack out. off to obvious fakes when I didn't know any better. Yeah. Back in my Before youth. Before you left the Garden of Eden. <laughs> yeah. Before you tasted the apple. <laughs> Before you touched God's copy of Photoshop. Dude. Before that snake. I used to jack up so many fake Britney Spears nudes. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, I love when they're just really smiling and they're just getting plowed in the ass. Yeah, mm-hmm. I like when a fakes. girl's happy during sex. Not me. You like it when they're sad? Yeah. Jenna Elfman is Danny Elfman's I like when they look worried. Shouldn't her name be Danny Elf Woman? <laughs> yes. Yes. That's his daughter, huh? Yeah. I thought it was his sister. That's how names work in China. Mm-hmm. Like, if your dad's name is Eric, you're just girl Eric. <laughs> That's smart. <laughs> That's how you go around town. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That's a good system. And then your husband becomes girl Eric's husband. Oh, shit. His yeah. name originally is uh, Eric too. Mm. If his dad's name is Eric, a lot of Chinese guys are named Eric. Named Eric in Brazil, they all just they have a add t- names, right? Yeah, in Latin countries, they have like you just have like a hundred names. names. Yeah, that's a, to honor your your, your aunt gestures. Yeah. What the hell's Jenna Elfman doing these days? I think she got married to Greg. Greg no, Elfman, in real life, from Darm and Greg. For real? I don't know. I think so. Fuck her. Yeah, Jen Elfman, husband, Bodie Elfman. <laughs> he took her name? He took her name. <laughs> For real? <laughs> She's taller than him, too. This shit's rules. Wow. Sick. Actually, is. you know what? I'd love to fucking take the name of my doing, tall wife. Yeah, they're doing like more of a Chinese-style yeah. kind of family. 
That's awesome. Look at her high ass pregnancy. He's holding his wife's belly, and he looks like he's right trying to it. dunk a basketball. It's at his nipples. <laughs> it's, by, it's up by his chest. Respect to that guy. Honestly. Yeah. No respect to Adam, of course. Why? I don't know. Why not? It's fine. Whatever works. <laughs> Adam, you should start wearing overalls. Why? You should start dressing like um like Oshkosh Bagosh. Like so? Janie from uh She's All That before they do her up. That's kind of my look already. <laughs> oh, fuck. Kind of art girl vibe. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you're not fuckable like them. Yeah, yeah. just wait till I get to I'm going to start dressing like, like Seth Green and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> and uh. fucking air walks and big pants and like a property of bum equipment hoodie. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Dude, I wanted a bum, bum equipment so bad. I thought it was cool. <laughs> it's such a funny name. <laughs> I was like, that's what I want. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a cool guy. Yeah, we got the same bum. same tech as the homeless. Uh, butt cheeks equipment. Yeah. All those companies, all those 90s companies just turned into clothes for homeless people. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Averax. Well, because slacker was an aesthetic in the 90s. Homeless people used to dress professionally. That's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they. And yeah. Then bums they got, did used to have like kind of like a teacher look. Yeah. As guy Ray, that it's a star in gender swapped remake of She's All That. Who? Addison oh, Ray the is bitch from TikTok as the lead role in that gender swap. Oh damn! I wish I could be the guy in that movie where they're like, "Oh, why well, she's got to date a loser," and it's like, "How about that guy who's thirty two years old? Yeah, is <laughs> hanging out on the high school campus. <laughs> All the kids think you're. A you got to turn loser. him into <laughs> into a cool guy. Yeah, he's fucking racist." <laughs> And he's a pedophile. His dick doesn't work. <laughs> his dick doesn't work. He's <laughs> he lives a racist old pedophile. <laughs> yeah. That would be like, an I interesting can, movie. I can change him. I'm like, you <clears> fuck you, bitch. Give me some child pussy. <laughs> 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 he's all that. <laughs> it's so funny because it's like nobody says all that anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like is no true. part of it is like. It's all bullshit. Yeah. All that and a bag of mm-hmm. chips. What a gay expression. <laughs> I remember being four and being like, am I supposed to say that? Yeah, dude. You're supposed to say that shit. You're supposed to fucking call things all that in a bag of chips. Oh, boy. Well, I'm getting tired. Mm-hmm. It's been already. We've already. Courtney uh, Hard Ardashian. That's good. Yeah, she's dating Travis uh, Barker. Travis. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sarker. Soaker. Sar- 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 Sarker. Sarkeesian. He's Armenian? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the only reason it works, because they're, both, yeah, they're yeah. both Armenian. Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah, dude. A hard Armenian? Travis Barker's been lying about being Armenian this whole time. Yeah, I feel like I can't listen to Blink-182 the same way. It's Travis Barkeesian. <laughs> wow, it's so weird. <laughs> I wish you were more donuts or at least a you know, buddy buddy Chex Mix or a sandwich or something. Some chicken. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm going to go home and eat some chicken, I think. I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to have a, I'm gonna have a Sunny D or an Orangina. Orangina's good. Yeah. And then um, and maybe a little bit of, uh, ooh, you know what I really want? What's that? It's Heroin? Some, uh, chicken liver pate. Respect. That's a nice move. Yeah. Get a little cut some gherkin. That's and, an aristocrat's fucking lunch. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm, you know. You're the upper crust. I am, dude. You yeah. know, what I was thinking the other day. I'm like Chevy. Chase. What do you guys think about me holding Chevy, the mic like this? Chevy yeah, it's like a pop punk vibe. Yeah, we should, <laughs> we, should, we should all get new mic holding. I'm shows. fucking yeah. gay. I'm gonna start going to New York open mics and holding. Them. <laughs> Does this make? Yeah, me? I went like an old. So school. I was out there. Dude, just yeah, like yeah. The dude, was, um, yeah, the, I'm yeah. sucking a dick. You know, fucking gay. Those are the best New York of my guys. Is like the Italian guys that like yeah. have so much confidence in their day to day life, but they get on stage and they're like, yeah. So this guy, I'm like, yeah, it's know, fidgeting like, so much, fucking yeah. uncomfortable doing comedy, and I'm like, so wait, are you gonna give me pussy in here, or <laughs> where are we gonna go? But fucking, I don't know. Whatever. Who fucking yeah. cares? What else cares? is going on? Yeah. So I live in Staten Island, and it's like. It's fucking weird that they even bother calling it an island because it's like fucking. This play it feels more like a. Fuck you guys! I'm leaving. I'm fucking. You're fucking. You fucking hipsters. You don't like this shit? You just had a fucking Chinese bitch up here. Oh, just, what is he fucking Chinese? You all about you laugh at the fucking Chinese bitch saying, "Oh, white people are bad. White people are bad." <laughs> Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! I hope she goes missing. <laughs> I hope they can't find her. 
I hope she gets lost in the fucking foyer of her own family's house. <laughs> and they're like, what the fuck is that? Is that me? <laughs> Did we put a mirror in the middle of the fucking void? I'm confused. And then they're like slowly, like just me at the open mic for some reason. <laughs> Back of the room. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Now that's a Mr. Holland's penis. Now I've that's seen. Bravo. Italian style comedy, the way it's always meant to be. Well, thank you for listening, folks. And uh, come see Adam this weekend in Nashville. Yes. And come see me in Cleveland. I also have... Uh, Patreon.com. Go to Patreon.com. I also have a Pantheon show October 17th. Or I'm, I'm sorry, October 13th. And I think we're adding a New York date to the Prince of Pleasure tour. Wow. At Gotham Comedy as part of the New York Comedy Festival. Um, wow. I believe the 10th of November. But, uh, yeah. Stavi.biz slash tour. Fucking Cleveland. Fucking Madison. Fucking Phoenix. All the good shit. And uh, we will talk to you guys next week. Bye. You got to hit the button. If you got in the show, you got